G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel. I'm embarking on a rather crazy, unusual experiment with, with colour. Basically I've got connected two Viticon tube cameras with two cellophane colour filters over them in which I'm recording two videos at once of myself right now onto two VHS video recorders onto two videotapes. You see each camera has a primary colour filter. Um, one camera has a red cellophane filter over it and the other one has a aquamarine cellophane filter over it. Basically this is going to be a two-tone colour picture with the mix of the two channels which I'll be doing in post-production on Pinnacle Studio. So yeah, basically I'm going to be getting a, the resultant image, provided it turns out good, should give me a kind of like a two-strip Technicolor look to it, like in those 1920s colour films which have, which have a red aquary sort of picture. Or a mix of red and aqua green, greenish sort of pictures. Anyhow, time to start the experiment. I'm going to now switch over to my two Viticon cameras. So here I go. Okay, I'm now on my, I'm now being filmed on my two black and white Viticon cameras filtered to two colours, red and aquamarine. And I'm going to now be presenting some colourful objects. Starting with this yellow piece of plastic. This will probably come up as a rather pinkish colour for a red aqui sort of colour system. And next we have a red bourbon bottle. This should come up, come up as a nice, rich red. And following that is a green wine bottle. This should come up as more of an aquarius sort of colour, seeing I'm mixing the red and the green, sorry, the green and the blue. And right here I have a red shopping bag, which course will come up nice rich and red. Now for some multicoloured objects, colourful objects I mean. Here we have a green blue box. Here we have a nice pea green coloured John West can. Here I have my good luck balloon which is in multiple colours, green, red, orange and blue. Here I have a white blue pencil case. That will probably come up as more of a bluey green colour. exactly got any other real colourful objects to present right in front of me. I might see what I can pull from the side. Here I have my red yellow dartboard. Interesting to see how this will come up on the two colour system. Oh, I forgot to the sides of me I've got two colour test patterns. One side consists of the rainbow of colours and the other one consists of the mixes of red and green which gives me yellow, red and green. I purposely put them there to see how they 
come up in a two colour system. So yeah, it'll be interesting to see how, how these will result once I mix the two videos together in Pinnacle Studio Editor. Of course um, with these cameras I had to align them and get them as close as possible in alignment so both pictures look as precisely as possible the same um, which was pretty much an impossible task because electrically the, the alignments of the image width and height are a little bit different on both cameras and there's a little bit of um, picture distortion on my AVC 3200CE opposed to the AVC 3250CE beside it. So that posed a bit of a problem. So I'm probably not going to get a perfectly matched picture when I superimpose them over each other but hopefully I'll get something that's close enough to show up the colours quite nicely. Anyways, um, yeah, I've actually done a little bit of studying on these early colour systems. Um, Two-tone colour television actually was experimented in the late 30s and the 1940s using the, using the field sequential rotating colour disc method. Um, I know John Logie Baird experimented in the late 30s with a mirror drum camera um, using red and aquamarine colour mixes and I know in the 40s um, I think it was Dumont that um, experimented with two colour system and of course they, CBS experimented with the with the um, full spectrum of red green and blue primaries for their field sequential system anyway um, this experiment is not a field sequential system but but a um, two channel colour system which both channels are getting recorded at the same time and and no um, colour wheel is required to reproduce the colours. Anyhow, before I finish this video off I'll present my colourful objects again. See how they look in the two primary colours. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. I've got no idea how it's going to turn out once I mix them together, but I will soon find out. Anyhow, this is Troy from the Troy's Visual Arts channel, signing out. See you all.